Hi, and welcome to the tutorial for exercise 003, working with preset shapes. Um, we are going to start, as I expect you now to do with every assignment. We're going to show our rulers and we are going to set up our guidelines. You'll notice this time that I have set the page to landscape. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over. I look over here on my x-axis. I need to set it to 0 0.25. There we go. Take it to the end. And again, um, 10.75. Now I'm going to do my horizontal guidelines. Drop that here. Remember, with the horizontal guidelines, you're working on the y-axis, and I'm going to do 0 0.25. Now, I'm going to be particularly lazy. You'll notice that my next guideline is only at 1.5 inches. All I need to do to move it is to type in the y-axis 8.25, and I have my guideline set up, it moves automatically. Today we're going to be working with preset shapes. Okay, there's a couple of things you need to know. I'm going to start with the polygon tool. And there we go. Now this polygon has 12 sides. If I want it to have five sides, I click five. Now, clearly I need to add a color to the stroke. I need to give the stroke a weight and whoops. Sorry, I du duplicated that. Okay. So here we go. Here's our five point polygon and I'm going to move it. Um, I'm going to select it. Okay. And you'll notice down here, in the appearance tab, we have special effects. Okay. We will talk a little bit about those in a minute because first we want to talk about our fills. We have any number of fills in the appearance, in the appearance tab, and we can select all kinds of colors. So I'm going to pick this and we filled it. We also want to learn about gradients. So we've clicked the Windows tab and everything is alphabetical. So we are going to find gradient and you'll notice that some of these effects have shortcut keys. And there's our gradient. We have three different types. We have a linear gradient. We have a radial gradient. And we have more or less um, a black and white. So I'm going to go back to my linear gradient. If I don't like these colors, how do I change them? I click on the color here. Okay, this round area, and I can pick any color I want, and you'll notice in here it's changed. I can also click on the shape if I don't like this. Um, I can choose a different color. Now, this is a little bit more limiting, you'll notice, because I don't have the option of my color libraries. So if I go to the gradient, okay, I can, I can slide it to make it whatever color I want. This here will flip the colors. I can choose from here. I can also see the gradient slider. I can also move 
this to give each color um, a different area in which it works. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to choose, oh, I don't like that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to choose something a little bit more orangey. And there we go. Okay, here. Again, I am going to slide it a little into an orange. And you can see the gradient changing. So that is, oops, and Control and Z will undo what you've done. I'm going to make sure this shape fits. I am now going to use a star tool. Okay. And again, it gives me, it pretty much uses the same things I used previously. Okay. I can, oops, I can change the shape by using my direct selection tool. Okay. If I don't like what I did, I can undo the move and I can undo the move and I'm back to my original shape. There is also the gradient tool here that I can use. Okay, and I'm going to go back to this color profile and select this one and use an orange and this one slightly more red. And there we go. I have now changed the colors. I want to talk about effects. Okay. We can add an extrude and bevel. So I went to the effects menu and now I can custom turn it. I can change the bevel. Um, okay. There is there are many, many things um, or options that I can apply to any given shape. I'm now going to resize the shape and move it up, making sure that the shape stays within the guidelines. Okay. So we'll go to the star tool again. I'm going to double click on it still with the star tool uh, selected, I want 16 points. So I type in 16 and there I go. It gives me a copy and off I can go to fill it. Okay. Again, oops, we go to window, we go to gradient. Uh, this arrow here will show you any number of gradients. Okay. And gradient options. Here I have a style library. Gradients. Uh, let's go spectrums. Okay, there we go. I'm going to fill it this way. I close this dialog box. Again, I can choose to change the colors, but right now I am going to change the opacity. I can edit the gradient. So your job is to create 10 shapes using different effects. Please read the um, Word document. <laughs>